So, Gabe, uh, you're mentioning the warmer temperature. Today is actually we're in the first full week now of spring, and a lot of your kids probably starting their spring sports as well. Some may be on spring break, so they're outside this week. So, here to talk about keeping uh, our children safe, Meredith Spell is here. She's the Injury and Violence Prevention Coordinator at New Hanover Regional Medical Center, talking about uh, health safety this week. Thank you yeah, for coming in again. You. I, I have a cold. Oh, that's right. That's right. I've warned you. Don't touch me. I have a cold. Okay. Um, with the warmer temperature, obviously mm -hmm. kids are going to be outside sure. as we inch closer and closer to summer. Out on bikes, maybe, you know, lacrosse is a sport that we mm -hmm. see in the spring. Talk a little bit about the helmet safety. We'll start with bikes. Okay. And I know you were saying fitting of these helmets yes. is very key. You, you don't just go to the store and buy one because it's a pretty color. It, right. it really has to fit properly. Yeah, so there's key, three key points you want to um, have met for your helmet. Um, the first one being that you want to make sure that it covers the front of your child's head or your head. Um, when you look up, you should be able to see the very edge of the helmet. Another thing you want to make sure is when you open your mouth wide that the strap fits tightly under your chin and also that it makes the V around your ear there. Um, you want to clip it tightly and make sure that it's not falling back on your child's head. Uh, I see kids a lot of times with helmets on, which is good, but they have them way up, almost mm -hmm. like where the widow's peak is and their hairline. And you can see that, I mean, if they were to just kind of duck their head backwards, that helmet is coming off. How, I mean, the importance of having it low above your eyebrows, someone had told me a long time ago that you really almost shouldn't be able to be, get your pinky yes. inside there, that you want that fit to be snug there. Yeah, you want it to be very snug so it doesn't move should you hit the ground. You want it to stay in place. Um, helmets prevent about 85% of head injuries in a bike accident or a motorcycle accident. And it's, it's not just a safety thing. It's a legal thing as well, correct? It is. It is. Um, for children 16 and under, um, the law in North Carolina does require them to wear a helmet on any major public road um, or public bicycle path. Yeah, so it's, you know... My kids, if they're watching, we, we've, had, we've had this conversation before, they'll just grab their bike and take yeah. off. And I've even said to them, hey, police are going to get you mm -hmm. if, they, if I come joking. But it is, it's not, and I know parents can be cited yes. as well for allowing your children yes. to go out without these. There is a financial violation and a ticket that you can receive for allowing your child to go out without a helmet. Uh, well, again, I mentioned things like lacrosse. Um, I, I don't want to get into football with, sure. with the fall sports, but just overall, when you're talking helmet to concussion, mm -hmm. the, the two seem to go hand in hand. It does. Uh, we're seeing more and more concussion becoming headlines these mm -hmm. days. When you're wearing the helmet, how much safer are you as opposed to when you're going about things without it? 100% safer. There's no reason to play any kind of contact sport without a helmet. Um, it will prevent any kind of um, major impact if you're coming into contact with the ground or another player. Yeah, so again, it's, it's, it's the helmets, while they're cute, you, you little bunnies and whatever, and they've got, it's not just a safety thing. At times it can be a legal thing, and it, can be, it really can be the difference between a traumatic injury and maybe just a bump on the head, not, not to make true. light of things. Very Thank true. you for coming. I wish I could hand again. Yeah. I don't want to get you sick. <laughs> All right, we're going to transition now from head injuries to back injuries, lower back pain.